Happy Wednesday and welcome to the best day of the week. Wednesday is the best because, as you know, we spend a few minutes of our Wednesday taking a look at some wisdom from the Word of God. But even though it only takes us a few minutes, our goal isn't to move on. Our goal is to grow, to learn, to mature, to become more wise. At some point in time, you have to realize that God tells us all this stuff, not just so that we'd feel bad at how poor we are at it and confess, but also because he wants us to embrace and walk in these ways. Of course, it's a wonderful benefit to us knowing that when we fail to walk in these ways, we come back to the cross and are forgiven. But the forgiven life that we walk in in freedom every day should include us saying, how then should we live? And the answer in part to that is, as more wise, according to God's standards, as part of our witness in this world. Our proverb for today is going to cover a theme that you have absolutely seen before. Today's theme is one of the themes that runs through the book, is behind the scenes, where the theme is that the way that God views things is simply not the same as the way we view things. Here's the proverb. Proverb 19. Proverbs 19, verse 1, better is a poor person who walks in his integrity than one who is crooked in speech and is a fool. Now, you probably know that oftentimes in the Proverbs, the two lines are sharply contrasted. So part of what you and I might be thinking as we read this is something like this. Better is a poor person who walks in his integrity than someone who by worldly standards, seems rich, and yet is crooked in their speech, and deep down inside is a fool. Better is a poor person who walks in his integrity than one who is crooked in speech and is a fool. One of the things that you and I must come to grips with is that if we are to embrace God's wisdom, with that must come the acknowledgement that the way that we tend to view the world is not right without God's guidance. Even truer than that is that the way that the world views things, even things like truth, and certainly in this proverb, things like success, it's almost always wrong. It is so much better, according to this proverb, to have something like character, which is something that God values, than to have something like worldly, worldly riches, the kind of stuff that maybe you and I think we're supposed to value. And because we know that God values those things differently, you and I need to learn that when we look around, looking for value, judging others' value, assessing worth, we should absolutely not look at what they have. Instead, we should look at who they are. And even more importantly, whose they are. Let's close the prayer. Lord, help me to be wise, not according to this goofy world standards, but according to yours. Guide me each and every day to choose the way of wisdom, and to aim to walk the way of Jesus. Amen. As always, thanks for clicking. See you next time.